people of YouTube, hello and welcome to another episode of Chaos Reborn. So I've just uh, got in a four-way match uh, with four guys. I'm in second place, uh, second sort of in the turn order there, choose a path as you can see. We're playing Grithandril, Kalgoth, Gary. So um, once again, we're on a beautiful map with all these little mana sprites everywhere, which are really cool. I think it's going to add a lot to the mobility of the game and the uh, importance of movement decisions. Uh, what have I got down here? Eagle, Tangle Vine, Elf, Gooey Blob, Spider, Justice Manticore. Quite a mix. And what's my gear look like? Shooters, Elf Squad. Okay, so I'm going for Elf Squad. That's cool. And uh, Anything that fires projectiles, I guess I have a bonus to. <laughs> Gary says, so Chizo, new to the game or play the original? Um, I came third in the first. That was back in... Oh, wait. Okay. So, it's Chizo's turn. Um, click I'm in. What is he talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, ah, done. Sorry about that. Okay, so cheese. Um, num, 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 num. what has happened? This guy's moved this way. I'm gonna move. This way. No, I'm going to move this way to. Because this guy's got space, so he thinks the safest thing for him to do is to move there. So we all moved around to the right. Then I avoid any immediate confrontation. And I should be able to pull out an elf. I'm going to try and just do one. Or should I just do a cheeky triple magic attack? That would be kind of funny. But no, I should save it later. Let's try an elf. Let's try a reward. Didn't work. That's the end of my turn. <coughs> Alright. That's a lovely looking eagle. Cool. And so the game continues. Now, Kalgoth's gone directly towards uh, Grithandril. Yes, Grithandril. So there's going to be a confrontation here soon. Now, it's interesting to see what uh, Gary will decide to do. I love the new map design. It's really nice. The trees are really cool and stylized and cute. Haven't played any, played any other version, though. I backed this game at the Kickstarter. Yes. Good. Well done. So it looks like Gary's not budging and he's gone for a bird type. That's an eagle. That's kind of annoying, has a 12% shot on me. <coughs> it's really solid, eh? Okay, so I've just drawn a unicorn. Grithandril's got on a mount, so this is going to resolve, so I kind of just need to hold these guys off. I don't find the eagle particularly threatening, personally. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... I could just run up and blob, which would be kind of funny. And I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to do the strongest blob I can. And that's trapped him good and proper. Now, does that still trap flying units? I don't know. But that's that's a classic blob manoeuvre. A fake elephant. Not many people use um, fake mounts, but uh, not only did he use a fake mount in that instance, Kalangoth called it. I don't know if these guys play a lot together or, or what. 
Calgoth's doing very well on material at the moment. Let's have a look at what Calgoth has. Staff of Mounts, Herd of Elephants. Interesting. So Calgoth will be the guy who ends up with a bunch of elephants. I think I can safely get this mana here. Gary's in a bit of trouble now. He's got some magic options he can pull out. He's not in bolt range, I don't believe, not anyway. Now what's Gary like? He's blobbed. I like that it says that. Staff of Zap does Mega Bolt. Look at that blobbed. That's cute. So really we're going to be fighting one of these guys, and I have a feeling it's going to be Calgoth. And hopefully I can beat Gary in in time. But he has done a magic attack on the blob he's on, taken a swing at the one the eagle's on, which means the eagle is stuck. So that still is a thing. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm still uh, still kind of ill. And let's see what Grithandril does. Okay, well that's good. That was a very big threat to him, having an elevated elf. So, ah, and got very lucky with the strike on the eagle. Moves and picks up the mana, and suddenly the balance has shifted in his favour. Meanwhile, I've drawn a giant, and my blob has spread. It's actually kind of preventing me from making progress over here. But let's... We know we're just going to get this, so let's just do it now. That's given me a bunch of magic, which is cool. And chaos is up. Still, though, I do want to have some material on the board, and I think an eagle would be good. Something with a bit of mobility. Very unlucky to miss that eagle, um, but that's how it goes sometimes. What's my mega spell again? It's a bunch of elves, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's expensive. But I could burn some of these cards to get in that direction. <coughs> now, I'm interested in getting up to here, but how do I do that? The only way you can do that was with a flying mount, isn't it? So if I spend a bunch of mana on a manticore, fly up there, maybe I could get a fake one. I don't know. Meanwhile, Gary's got a shield, and he's going to get that next turn. That's pretty much guaranteed. Now, Grithandril smells blood, I think, and is um, moving up aggressively. I don't know what he has. He could blob here, potentially, and uh, trap Calgoth. In the same way I, I kind of blocked Gary. He's gone for a Goblin Horde, so he's m reached his Mega Spell straight away. They can't move straight away, right uh, on their first turn, can they? I don't think so, so that, that in theory should be the end of his turn. Now I'm in an interesting situation. I've drawn Spider. And um, Gary states, Griff's been burning. So yes, this is... Very early to bring out a mega spell, so everyone has noticed that that is kind of what's been going on. Chaos has gone up, which is uh, which is great for me. I'm going to do the hardest real manticore I can. Basically, spend all my mana. Worked, which is excellent. And I'm going to use it to take me into the middle of the map and get this. Uh, from there, I'm going to kind of. Try and get that elf squad because if I can get this middle of the map with the elf squad, I'll be in great shape. The only problem is that now people will probably perceive me as a threat. At least one person I think is going to test that <coughs> for a realness. I hope they do. And I hope it's someone who's doing well. This is the thing. This this move, while it kind of was good, it has meant I can't really access Gary just now. But that's okay. I think that's the least of my problems. Hmm, I think Calgoth's going to get that. So it's going to be annoying because it's going to go after he dies. Or it's just going to go and I don't think you can cover it when he dies. But if you kill a wizard, I think you do get a mana boost. And I believe you get more mana for killing stuff with wizards directly. But I'm not super certain. Uh, it's been a little while since I've been completely up to date on the um, exact sort of payouts for mana. I need to catch up on the forum and read a little bit more. But... um. Another way of learning is by observing. So, whose turn is it? It's Calgoth. He's gone for Elephant, which makes sense. He has propensity to um, Elephants. Gary's turn. Let's see what Gary decides to do. <coughs> oh, pardon me. So, Gary should take the magic, I would have thought. Well, he's not really in any hurry to, if he's not going to use it. But... 
it would be better to have it in his bank so that we think he's capable of spending it on things to make sure they happen so that he can more easily do illusions. A little bit more of an advanced idea, but it's uh, it's what I would do anyway. Yeah, so he's taken the sprite. But he tried a real magic sword. I suppose since we're in chaos balance, it was a what? 70% cast, or is it 80? I think it's 80, so that's quite unlucky. So here the goblins are going for their rush. <coughs> and it, yeah, this is just a this is a pure rush down, is what I'm seeing. Now this guy had Mega Bolt. Well, we know he doesn't, though. We know he's got elephants. How are elephants? They have high defense and against the attack of Goblin, which is three. Uh, it's going to be difficult to take down a bunch of elephants for these guys. They'll eventually do it, but... Yeah, see, now he switched to the defensive. That's what that Shadow Wood represents. So I've drawn an elephant. I don't think that's particularly useful to me. I'm going to fly to... <coughs> fly myself to... Here? Can I do that? Uh, Manticore, can it? Why? I'm a bit puzzled as to what's going on here. Um... Can't move. What's going on? I don't know what's happening. I think this is bugged. You move on to Mount. Ah. Okay. Well, whatever. I think, yeah. No. Of course, I moved in the turn. You can't then move the mount. That's that's true. That is true. Okay, so uh, false alarm, everybody. Don't worry. Um, let's do a triple magic attack at this point. Ah, uh, nah. There's no point in doing Tangled Vine. I'm running out of time. Let's put down a giant. No, let's put down a spider. Let's put it down over here. Let's just try and do a real one. Okay, so that works. Of course. Alright, so Kalinoth picked up the magic. Hopefully this real army over here is going to discourage any advance, uh, any advancing in this direction. Especially with the... Uh... Well, I don't know, actually, in a way he wants to get away. These trees look sick! They look so cool! Um, he will want to probably get away from this direction. That said, uh, Grithandril has made it so that it, he can't really be advanced on or really advanced through here. So now these are more like bodyguards than attackers. See what Gary decides to do. His eagle's free, but it's not a good idea to attack me, I think. The shield failed. So he's, he's kind of taking his time trying to cast real things. It's not really working out for him, which is kind of shitty uh, for him. But uh, there you have it. It's, what he decides to do with the eagle now is important. He could try and attack me, but the best he could do is kill my manticore. That would be horrible for me, but it's possible. Now, he's moved all the way up to here. Does that mean that he thinks he can take it? If so, that will annoy me greatly. I don't think they can, though. Everyone's got a manticore now. So I think it's a race to the top at this point. I want to get up here. I want to get the mana that I that's mine, and uh, cast a bunch of elves. I've got subversion, which is kind of cool. So first thing I want to do is fly up here, take this out with a melee. That's worked, and that's excellent. <coughs> I don't really want to be aggressive with the spider just for the minute. I'm in fact going to move back with it. And kind of keep it in reserve. I'm not sure why Subversion is represented by a rainbow, but it's cool. Um, I've even got a shot on Gary next turn. Let's now use this triple magic attack. 
Let's just give it a shot and get rid of these mounts. Because if we can, then we're in decent shape. Uh, no, let's try it out. Mount, mount, mount. And the chance of it casting is, was it 50? Let's try 63, it's cheap. Didn't work, so it wasn't that cheap. It cost me all my mana. Still, it was worth a go. Tangled vines free. This is interesting. I could probably lay some around. I don't think it would help me in this instance that much. <coughs> when this blob goes, I'll probably run the spider around this way if I get a, get a chance. What just happened? I missed it. There are playback controls, aren't they? Aren't there? Yeah, I guess that's what these are. But uh, I think it was just an ineffectual swing at something. Probably that? I don't know. Now, Cowgirl's on his mount. <laughs> oh, the tree animation. So cute. Try to justice, presumably trying to do something similar to what I did. There's two left, two spells left in the deck for me. Um, I don't think these numbers are right. I still don't really understand what they represent because there are definitely not seven chaos spells in the deck. But we'll see what Gary decides to do. Gary is in an interesting position. He's somewhat safe, spatially. Doesn't have much gear. Everyone's got a manticore now. Amazing. Grithandril, what are you going to do? Well, don't we feel mainstream? Well, you know, I did get one first. Jesus, that's a lot. <coughs> Manticore's on the board. Interesting. The question is, can I get that mana safely? I, I'm not sure that I can. I suppose I could, and then... Yeah, now I can't. He can take a shot from there, can't he? Can he? We'll see, I suppose. I could try and subvert, which would be pretty interesting as far as moves go. So, as far as material goes, I think Grithandril definitely has the most options, obviously. Gary's least likely to die in the next turn. Let's move our spider around. He's, let's be fair, not been particularly useful so far. Let's take this out if we can. Right, and it wasn't real. Uh, we could subvert a tree, but why the fuck would we do that? So that's not real. There's probably some more shit on this board that isn't real, you know, to be honest. Um, we've got another tangle vine that we could put up, which I may do just to prevent any of these guys coming in. And in fact, why don't we? Uh, well, I do want to have elves eventually, so maybe we shouldn't do that. Is there anything that can do... I don't want to cast anything up here is the thing. So let's try a disbelieve. Okay, uh, let's first disbelieve Gary. Didn't work. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, so that one's real. I wonder if these are real. I've still got the subversion in my pocket, which is great. I've got Tangle Vines for defense. And I could nip down there, cast Tangle Vine securely, I think. Magic sword? Oh shit. Oh, he's actually in range. I'm glad that missed. That did not. So now we have an awkward situation. I think the next step for me is to move back and cast vines defensively. I don't think I can subvert something that's being ridden, which is a shame because that would be very funny. But yeah, we're in an interesting situation now. Probably I'm going to die first. If I do, obviously I'm going to carry on and watch how the rest of the game goes down. 
We're only on turn 7 of 20. You need to work on your posture, cheese. Uh, I have a standing desk. <laughs> okay, so I was just got nuked by uh, Grithandril. A sort of team up between those two, which is a bit of a shame because well, my next move was going to be kind of cool. But uh, looks like that's not happening this round. So let's see what Kalgoth decides to do now that he's been uh, gifted that. So the elephant's kind of tearing through this bit gradually. Tearing through is not really the phrase for gradual. Uh, and well, well, well. Kalgoth's got some options. Yeah, I'm not sure about Gary's chances. Gary needs to pull out something a bit more. Yeah, I'm sure Kalgoth would have liked that to work. Now, has this one been tested for reality? Illusion unknown. So this one hasn't. Neither is this. And this one has. I tested it myself. Gary's asking people what spells they've got left. And it seems that Kalgoth has at least an elephant. So let's see what Gary decides to do. And the server's kind of filling up as well, which is kind of interesting. Um, just looking over at the uh, number of people playing. <coughs> okay, that's pretty good. So Gary's in a good state as far as his uh, wizard strength. Okay, he tries for the range attack and that doesn't really work. What else is Grithandel going to do? He casts a... another Manticore. That's nuts. His deck is just Manticores, it seems like. Well, sometimes you get lucky. Um, unfortunately, that for these uh, poor quivering goblins, that time isn't now. My money's on the elephant, personally. So, what else has he left to do? A tree shot on the elephant? Makes sense. Has he done it yet? And has he noticed? What's he thinking? Fake elephant. Okay. Couple of ineffectual swings from Calgoth. And a failed Hydra spell. So that's quite that's kind of critical for Calgoth. He's now looking somewhat outnumbered uh up here. <coughs> I really like how the um mana sprites have caused um, the battles to happen in places that otherwise wouldn't. Imagine if this wasn't here. You No way would anyone have gotten up here unless they were trying eagle shit. It, it, I mean, yeah, it's got a commanding view, but people would probably have ended up just running around the edge like they normally do. And I really like that. And, and also, and let's be clear, it hasn't been taken yet because of the amount of conflict that's going on up here. So that's pretty interesting. So, Gary, it's down to you, with your very few options. I hope you've got some spells, and I hope you didn't burn too many. I know a lot of them failed trying to do real stuff. I quite like the, the uh, yellow look here. It looks quite nice. Reminds me of old Naughty Dog games and the trophies they have in those. Anyway. 
Overall, just aesthetically, I'm just loving, I'm loving this. It looks so cool. Everything looks really, really nice. I'm really pleased with what they decided to do. Maybe the trees are slightly noisy. They do look nice and evil, though. I love the weird mouth pouches. So that was a sounded like a failed spell. I missed that. Let's uh, a quick look. Back. Play. Oh, I don't know what it was. Anyway, it looks like Kalgoth is no longer on a mount. Ooh, Grithandra went off his own mount in order to pick up the mana. That's quite bold. That said, he's got a couple of great options. Is this going to work? Go for the shot. Come on. What do you got? What, what, what other option is there? Surely a punch to the face. Oh. Interesting. Ah. Uh... Okay, that's kind of cool. Does anyone have any options for smacking him? I would have tried that before putting the vines down, or am I missing something? Oh, they've already taken their shots, okay. So that was a defensive move. Okay, that's cool. Kalgoth's turn. Good. Now a spell. Subversion would be fantastic in this situation. Or a move. A manticore, that is bold. Oh yeah, no, he has a move. Oh, that's excellent. Very, very good. So now he used his move. He's got basically an extra health by being on a mount. Um, if this one attacks and succeeds, he can take a sword swing. And the uh, long old fight over here carries on. This this battle, in a way, doesn't matter at all. But, um, you know, the material's just kind of tying each other up. Uh, there's no way they can even support the fight up here. This really is uh, about which wizard wins this. I don't know who's got it now. It's quite it's quite balanced. Very interesting defensive moves here. A blob would be fantastic for Kalgoth. Um, Gary's just been on the sidelines, really. If he can get up there and cause some damage to Kalgoth, perhaps. Um, maybe he has a chance? I don't know. He just has been kind of out of the game. All right, so he's flown across rather than directly towards, and he's working on the material. That seems a little bit, I don't know, is he going for the mana points for the simple kills? It didn't work. Uh, but he's finally succeeded in casting a dwarf. Hmm. Probably not his, uh, <coughs> not something he's particularly keen on. Now that is very big for Grithandril. Now I believe Kalgoth is stuck up here. I, I can't imagine He's got any more mounts. Interesting. And this and this one's flown. Ah, the elephant was fake and the goblin won the battle, so I even lost that bet. This one's flown out of the range of Kalgoth though. And now the goblin's safe again in this area. Not that this is really relevant to anything. The dwarf is real, so Grithandril now has almost nothing useful to actually do as evidence as the, uh, by that move. Obviously there's no magic spells he can cast except for ones on himself, which means he doesn't have a shield or a sword or a bow, probably. Uh, Kalgoth, I think, is probably going to get outranged by this manticore. Uh, an elephant is good. And elephants have a buff for going through uh, vines, so I think uh, one uh, effective method is to just brute force through here and try and kill Grithandril. With a um, with with the elephant's uh, special anti vine properties, yeah, the bulldoze that's marked up here. So, Gary took a swing at the tree. It didn't really work. You could take another shot. I'm not really sure what you're trying to do. Let me just have a look again at your stats. Mega bolt. Mega bolt could be interesting. Um, if he got over here, or he could even fly up and then take some really hard hits at the wizards and pot potentially snatch it at the end. The elephant's real, so that was kind of a bit of a waste, I think. Um, 
Ooh. Unlucky there. I think that Manticore is going to die in the next turn. And it looks like Halgoth has actually won the fight up the top. Grithandril sort of looks like he's overextended and um, put himself in a corner, quite literally. <coughs> uh, now limited only to uh, reality checks on... Um, on unimportant units, so it's kind of sad in a way. Um, Kalgoth should absolutely kill this Manticore and then spend a bit of time getting to Grithandril. I don't think he, I don't know if he has any options for getting down from this hill. And what, what does he have? No, just elephants. If he's stuck up here, that's a bit of a problem for him. We're at turn 12, um, you know, eventually we're gonna run out of time. Okay, so the Manticore is dead. Calgoth's running away, presumably from Gary, so that he can mine through to Grithandril in peace. Oh, and a Hydra's come out. <coughs> I think uh, Red is dead. I don't know what Gary's doing. I guess, yeah, uh, limited options. Still, I would, I don't know, I would, I'd burn stuff, get up here and Mega Bolt and just try and try for that. I th maybe that's the long game, and I'm just being impatient. Kind of like the new uh, dwarf design, by the way. Let me just uh, rotate round. Look at it. Can I get any lower? I can't. Looks really cute. So, that was a failed spell there. Didn't see what it was. Let's try and replay it. Moved over. Hydra. Those failed. Ran up. The Hydra's real, that's what it was. It was reality check. Okay, so the bulldoze did not work. The Hydra's moved around to try its luck on a different branch, I suppose. Not sure why exactly, but okay. And the elephant's gone round too. Curious. Okay, so he tried a spider, a real one, and it didn't work. Goblin on goblin. Looks like Gary's gonna even lose that unit. Very unlucky he's been in this round. <laughs> MVP Goblin, who's probably that red one, um, which is obviously real, it's the realist, ah, and there's not much left for them to do, uh, it's definitely a more dynamic game with the changes, it just happens that this particular like layout of uh, things uh, with the vines etc and the higher terrain means that it's difficult for everyone to be involved. I do think though that Gary could have gotten stuck in, but he knows more than me about what his setup is, and maybe this is the smartest choice. So, Grithandril, really not much to do. Kind of looking down the barrel of a gun at this point. Oh, the, uh, gotta say, the game has gotten a little less exciting. <laughs> okay, well that's changed things at least. So Grithandril now will have an opportunity to do something. If he's got a bolt, that could be interesting. If he's got a, well if he had a blob he would have done it by now I feel. <coughs> but he's got room to cast essentially, and that could make a difference. Uh, as far as wizard upgrades go, ah. Uh, Okay, so Kalgoth used his spell to put in a, a enemy tree next to the wizard. That's kind of good, because he's got, oh, there goes the uh, red goblin. It's kind of good in a way, because the tree will be able to actually access him and hit him, while his, presumably his Hydra works on a different angle, and Grithandril is denied that magic spell. He can, of course, try and hit the tree, and if he succeeds, he'll have the opportunity to cast a spell, but it's a worse chance than if he'd just been left alone. 
Gary, meanwhile, is still kind of standing there, having cleared out the uh, ground floor. He's got not much to do, but get stuck in in the fight upstairs. He's got a you know, powered-up wizard. He's got a flying capability. He could do it. But we'll see. So he swung for the tree. Didn't work. And that's basically all he can do. Surely that's the end of the turn. Okay, so he did end turn, and it's Kalgoth. And Kalgoth made the kill. Brace for impact. Oh, okay, well... At least that's been solved. Cool. And it's now <laughs> Kalgoth's immobile uh, force versus Gary's mobile small force. I wonder what's going to happen. We've got five turns to resolve it. Gary could fly straight through the middle, perhaps, um, smacking trees down as he goes, firing a bolt into the heart of Kalgoth. I just don't see it happening. Um, I think this is going to end as a stalemate between the two. Let's see what Gary decides to do. I could be completely wrong. What is the movement on the Hydra? Is it two or one? It's two, like most uh, units. Okay. Sometimes trapping yourself is not always the best option. I would say that very rarely is trapping yourself the best option, though it can be sometimes. I've seen it. Even Julian has used it against me and won. Tried to subvert the Hydra. That would have been very big for uh, Gary. That's a real shame. And that would have that made sense. That was a good move, but um, it didn't work out. Gary's been very lucky there. I would, if he's not entangled, now fly over to Kalgoth and go in for the kill as quickly as possible and try and beat him before the odds do. He could be lucky. Kalgoth got many more magic options? I don't think so. So it's Gary's turn. I don't think the dwarf can swing at oh, 7%. Can swing at anything, really. <coughs> Ooh, not me. And Gary spends his turn trying to kill the Hydra. Had a second subversion, wow. I wonder if he was just waiting for people to come up to him with powerful units so he could steal them. It's an effective uh, effective way of working. But in this case, no. Uh, so what's Gary to do now? Flying to safety, smart move. Oh, sorry. Another ineffectual swing, of course. So, what's Kalgoth going to do? Ped's in chat says, Hey, cheese, been a long time. Indeed, Ped, indeed it has. But I'm back, at least for a few days, uh, before I go back to work. That said, I want to keep trying to play in the evenings and try not to fall completely out of touch with this game as I have in recent uh, past. Let's see what Gary does. Gary's got a chance to fly up and take a swing at uh, Kalgoth. I think it's a good idea. Get to the tip here if you can. Here if you can. Maybe here's best. I don't know. Either one. He's got it all the way on the other side. Oh, and of course, yes, he's got projectiles he can throw. He hasn't really got the turns to faff around like this, but it seems obvious to me that Kalgoth doesn't have range capability. So in a way, it's kind of smart. If Gary wants, he can go for an all-out uh, all last-ditch attack in the last two turns. Or one turn, even if he gets very lucky. Um, uh, but, I mean, you know, if, if he thinks he's going to uh, be beaten, he may as well settle for a draw if it's uh, if it's not based on victory points, but winner's draw. I believe this is for the four-way tournament as well. Um, seems all the games these days are for some tournament or other. I just want to play personally until I'm good and then join a tournament. But whatever, I, I enter, I lose, I, I have fun, so it's fine. 
<coughs> oh, pardon me. Well, Gary, what are you going to do? You could fly up to the elephant, take a shot. At least you're on level footing there. The range isn't good, though, and so you spent it on a tree. This dwarf's probably going to swing at this tree as well. A skeleton! Oh! He was hiding that one for a while. I'm glad it came out. So that changes things quite a bit. Skeleton's very mobile. Can't be hurt by much, although it can be hurt by the sword. Um, that said, behind it, you've got the manticore, which is very good in close combat. A huge danger to the elephant and the rider. But he's finally pulled out a magic bow. How long was he waiting to, to, to pull that out? Interesting that he waited on that. I would swing with my sword against that skeleton and that worked and um but now gary has pulled kalgoth very close and the hydra can't really help at this range gary i would if i were him step forward take a shot with the manticore on the elephant oh use a bolt that's even better now manticore versus kalgoth who's not got a shield and could it be that gary actually wins the whole thing playing this extremely cagey game and winning at the end just by keeping a level head. Very impressive if so. Oh, it's very impressive anyway. Wow, great game. I really didn't think Gary would be the one to win it, but uh, that shows me. Brilliant game. Amazing game. Captured for posterity. Uh, hopefully it's captured for posterity. I'll have to check the recording. But that was great. I really enjoyed that. That's my second game of Chaos Point 2.1. Sort of starting to... Uh, um, understand what's going on with the uh, units and uh, and the board and stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be playing more of this and uh, be putting more videos up. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, please consider supporting the video in any way you can, including uh, our Patreon page. You could uh, be a patron for uh, as little as a dollar. It's real. The hype is real. All right. See you in the next video. Bye.